Okay, Aaron here, Simon Says Farms, and we are converting from square bales to marshmallows. I, I mean round bales. We're gonna give it a try. In this video, we're gonna show you how we built our round bale feeder for our goats. So hopefully, I can get these round bales off the trailer. But from this point forward, we'll get them delivered. It's just so much easier, more convenient. So here goes nothing. And that rip was put there on purpose. We wanted to inspect the hay before we bought it. Here we go. So the two marshmallows have been moved. And what I learned is that my little tractor, 33 horsepower, John Deere, can handle the four by four foot marshmallows, which weigh close to 500, 550 pounds. I wanna talk about this metal fence we bought for a minute. Hang on a second. So this grate we bought right here, right, is a hog panel uh, or cattle panel, or this one they call for sheep and goats because each square, is four inches by four inches which will be perfect for the goats to stick their face in like this and eat the hay out of it it's also perfect for people like me that don't have the best six pack instant i mean look at that instant six pack it's ridiculous it's beautiful i should have bought one of these a long time ago i now have a six pack Right, let's go get the rest of our building materials. Enough fooling around. There we go. Four six foot four by four posts will be needed. So, hay bale project. They say they're four by four marshmallows, but we have to confirm to see exactly about how big, exactly about, that was good, ex about how big these actually are. Here you go, mommy. Hold that right there. The circumference is, okay, so it's four feet to the top, but if I look at the way it bulges out, kind of like my belly does, are you out to the bulge? I'm out to the bulge. Yeah, 52 inches roughly. But that's okay, because that's gonna be the up and down. This is the distance we were really concerned with, which is 48, exactly. So we're good, 48 inches. Let's go build something. More measuring. I think she even used the word circumference, which is 3.1415 the diameter. Oh my god. Just so you know. Measure twice. Cut, cut once. once. Right, okay. So we just needed this fat measurement again here because okay. this is the one that could change based on each bale, just in case they rolled it. So all the way out, I'm all the way out. You're all the way out. What about 52 inches? We should be good. 53. Even though we're buying four foot bales, we want to make sure. I'll go with 52. Sure. 52 sounds good. Let's just good. do that one Ooh, for consistency. Oh, let's measure this one too. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm, what a, if that one's I'm out to the fat bulgy part. Okay. 52. Let's go with 53. We're going with 53, I just to be to... sure. Just in case we get a fat marshmallow one day, we don't want it to not fit. We'll explain all this with a dry erase board eventually. Why? Because it makes it sense. In. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll show okay. you later. All right, so we said 53 inches. Yeah, so these two are 48 across we actually went 48 and a half to give ourselves a little room and, and now we're gonna to go 53 from inside, inside to inside, inside plus this measure do it on that one what's that measurement uh, plus the four by four and the one by six so it's five inches so is, 53 no it's five and a quarter so five and a quarter plus five and a quarter is ten and a half 
plus 53. So 60. 63 and a half. Oh, man. A lot of measurements, but the frame is built. So ne next step is to put the metal mesh into the frame. So that's what's coming next. It took me about a half an hour to find Daddy. these. Oh, little girl's home from school. To find these. Daddy. Very important. Oh, let's see what she has to say. Yes. Mm. What's going on? Mm. Nothing. Peanut butter and fluff on the face. That's it. Okay. So time to put the mesh in and we'll be back. and every other one's pretty good. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Ding. We, we, we can't not record this part. It's that ridiculous. Okay, time's that by about 40. You, you doing good over there? <laughs> I'm tired. All right, one more. One more. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a tool okay, for there this. Okay, there's another one over there. Freaking work. Okay, so now all that crazy cutting's done. We're putting the sides on. So we've got the middle with the arch. And the bale's gonna get dropped in there. Obviously a tractor is required for this uh, loader. For this feeder, I meant a tractor with a loader is required for this feeder. That's what I meant to say. The sides. And we had to extend the wood because we didn't want to leave a gap here where the little animal could get its leg caught. So we extended the wood. We're nailing it all in. Making it nice and neat. Like the, <laughs> the, wind. the wind does make it chilly. It's windy. Very chilly. So it's done. Look at you and your diva sunglasses. We added okay. skis. I'm worried it's going to be too tall to fit into Gen Pop. Well, we'll find out if it fits. Time to go uh, see if it fits. I figured we'll put the hay in it in the barn, not out here, because then we'd have to move it with all that weight. Okay, that's not happening. So let's put it in the barn empty. The idea here is to get the feeder in my bucket and then strap it to my bucket and then bring it into the barn. This could be fun. All the girl goats are outside. We have opened our big door, the one we usually use for muck out. And we're going to slide the new feeder in here. The ultimate goal is to get rid of that feeder, which you can't see because the lighting sucks. That one, there you go. That feeder will go away if this concept works which hopefully it does. So now it's time to move the feeder into position. Like I said in the beginning of the video, don't make this hay feeder. It needs some adjustments. If you notice, there's a gap now between the round bale and the grate, and it's been about two, three days. 
what's happening is we made it too tall. We have to cut it lower. They're not eating here, which would be the side of the bale, allowing the bale gravity to fall. I mean, they're eating, see? They're eating, I don't know if you can even see her. Yeah, no, you, you can't see her. Maybe over here, hang on a second, look at, look at. Yeah, that's mommy, she's not eating. Lucy's eating, but mommy's helping. I had to pull all the hay downwards because right. one of our other issues is that in the original design, this wasn't here. And right. You can see they've eaten all in here and all in here, <laughs> but nothing in here. Right. So now this whole bale has. Yeah, but that they would pull out, I think. If the they sides. Can't, yeah, they can't reach it if, on this side. If, Nobody... the, if the sides were gone, the bale would drop. So follow along Damn. and we will make adjustments to this hay feeder. And in part two, you'll see the difference. So hit that subscribe button down there Rainy. and you'll see the updated version of this hay feeder coming soon. So I do not recommend you build it this tall. We are gonna cut the legs off and lower it eventually.